Gotcha. In Journey King, you play as Arthur Morgan killing goblins from Clash of Clans. One of my favorite things about roguelikes is how you're able to just continuously kill things mindlessly. It's called roguelike because of the game Rogue, which other games are like. Traditional roguelikes were turn-based, but these more freeform ones are the ones that I'm talking about. Journey of the Prairie King puts you in the middle of an open field at the start with three lives and nothing else. Now, Binding of Isaac presents you with several different items that alternate your stats, which is ultimately what you want to do to become stronger. Enter the Gungeon is very similar, although you're collecting different guns. While these games are very similar in premise, in terms of their execution, it's quite different, and their replayability is present because of these different stats. Journey of the Prairie King, on the other hand, creates replayability through the simple art of dying and bullshit. Oh, come on, man. You are dead. You are dead. Yo, it's on sight. No! In similar fashion to COD Zombies, sometimes when an enemy is killed, they drop a power-up. Now, these power-up range in usefulness, but you have a reserve which allows you to keep one at all times. This creates strategy, like, do I want to use this power-up now to save my ass, or do I want to save it later to absolutely hit every shot on the boss? Now, you'd be stupid if you liked anything other than the star power-up, because as soon as you activate it, it is a monsoon, tripling your bullet output and making it much faster. This game has very easy-to-understand Stats. Every other room you will complete, someone will come down from the top of the screen offering to sell different things. The shoe, the gun, and bullets. This stands for movement speed, fire speed, and attack damage. Of course, if you are dying a lot, you're not going to have a lot of money because the longer you stay alive and the more things you kill, the more money you'll probably get. This reminds me a lot of Legend of Zelda on the NES for obvious fucking reasons. Anyway, this game is broken into three worlds, and this does cement difficulty. Enemy health increases with each world, and this makes it a lot more difficult to dish out damage if you didn't buy bullets. Now, this game technically does not exist in our world. It exists through Stardew Valley, and oh my god, you can't pause it. I just keep going back to the main menu. Now, tell me that this doesn't look satisfying to absolutely barrage the fuck out of enemies on screen. This is very difficult, especially due to the alien hominid ass one hit kill. But you get the same chip tune that plays in every world and in every level except for boss fights, and well, it was great at first and now it's just very annoying. Ah, come on, you only said that because you got off of a bad run a few minutes before. Come on, this thing has built on me so much. As a chip tune, it is simple but amazing. Listen to that. Well, it's time to beat this piece of shit. Also, I tried for six hours, I couldn't get this achievement. Fuck you. Hello? Where the fuck are all the zombies? There's like none of them. Whoa, 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 bounce! <laughs> that didn't happen. Alright, yeah, um, so what up? It, it's your boy, Clint Eastwood, um, shooting up fucking- Oh, uh, finally. Uh, yeah, we're gonna buy the bullets now. Goodbye. I'm fucking broke now. Yeah, no, staying in that box is for bitches. Uh, fuck all y'all. I'm outside this motherfucking bitch. You can't change the prairie dutch. You can't change the prairie dutch! And just like that, the first boss is dead. Very easy. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're in, we're shooting toads in the- <gasps> Yo, 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 back up, back up, back up. You know, sometimes these power-ups feel like you just have too much power, I mean. I- I haven't died in forever. Six fucking spawn points in this room. Six of them. How is any normal human being supposed to do this without dying? Oh my god! Uh, since he has bigger balls, it's just so much easier to fucking win these things, bruh. All I had to do was just hide behind my log. Oh, we're in white territory now. Looks like I'm gonna have to do the- <gasps> Oh, scary spooky! Oh, what the fuck? Demons aren't scared of this sh Yeah, anyone who says this game is hard is a fucking pussy, man. Look at this shit. Yeah, you get this every- Easy- Hard my ass! Alright, I've been training for this moment. Alright, we got this, boy! Yo, 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 we gotta activate this right now. Come on, yo, blast him up! Blast him up! Come on, we got this, yo, dodge him up! Nah, you ain't spawning any of your bitches, boy! Yo, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit! No! Well, I guess I won anyway. Just like the events of every single game in existence, looks like we were just simping for our lovely little, um, something there. Well, 
What a happy ending. I love this game. I'd play it again. What? I played a lot of NES games growing up, so believe me, Journey of the Prairie King is a very NES feeling game, even though it's in an arcade, in a universe that doesn't even exist. That's why Journey of the Prairie King is an amazing game, in fact, it doesn't technically exist. But I'm not here to say what exists and doesn't because I'm a stupid idiot who doesn't even belong in this dimension. So I better get out of here before he gets back and realizes that's that. That's why I think that Waffle Fries are better than Pussy. Ah! Ah! Yo, who the f are you? I am not uh, from here. You look familiar. <laughs> Why are people always in my chair when I get back here? Hey, I'll get I'll get out of here. It's your video. What video? I'm not from this dimension, but it looks eerily similar to mine. A different dimension. All right. I best be getting out of here. I guess you can crash here. I mean, a door's right here, and where did he go? Mario Strikers next week! Force.